Right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash, and the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days, which the world cannot receive, and the gift of faith. And as always, double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that taught us his truth, and do a world by thumb. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwani Wa Achim, the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, truth and sincerity. Shalom to the predestined elect. I'm that fellow Sigma Kwan from Jim S. Bay 12, the camp out here in Tampa, Florida, the heart of Babylon, the belly of the beast, with another lesson. I pray this lesson is edifying to the elect. Uh, today's lesson, I just want to get into how blessed the Akim are, all right, and understanding this truth, count your blessings, man. Because just knowing off rip that America, which is Babylon the Great, and is destined for destruction, which is the lake of fire, that's a blessing in itself to understand that because that is a mystery, and that was given unto us, man. And this video is for myself first and foremost, and you younger Achim like myself as well. All right, to count your blessings, man. You around the brothers, the scriptures speak about how beautiful it is for brothers to dwell in unity. That's a blessing. Because when you actually go into the definition of the word blessing in the etymology, right? It says um, to consecrate by religious right. You see? So we're separated by uh, worship. Okay, Re religious just means uh, worship. So we're separated through the worship of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's why um, I, I, I was going to grab it, but Yahweh Shai spoke about that in St. John 17, man. Okay? I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou hast given me. But they are thine, and all mine are thine. Thine are mine. All right? You know, Satan got to present himself. It says, uh, this is the point, though. It says, make holy, give thanks. Hollow with blood, mark with blood. So we're marked. All right, by the blood of Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, if we be those men, because we are made uh, 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 nigh unto the Most High by his blood. That's Revelation, the fifth chapter, around the ninth, uh, ninth verse. So anytime you're around the brothers and we, we, hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai Bakathah, that's a blessing, man, in itself, because that's the kingdom of heaven. All right, we are the kingdom of heaven, man. So that's a blessing to understand these things. It's a blessing to wake up with this truth on you. Every day, every day we get up, man, the first thing we got, cast me not from thy presence. Say not thy Holy Spirit from me, and the water you have me outside for me, for giving me this truth, waking up with this truth on me, waking up, calling on your name. That's a blessing in itself. That's consecrated, separated, made holy in itself, because everybody ain't got this. So let's go ahead and start here in St. Matthew 13, verse 9. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right? So that given unto you is speaking of the disciples who later on became apostles. Okay? And ultimately the elect of, of the nation of Israel. Okay? All right? And that uh, it, who was not given is to the two-thirds of our people, man. The mysteries of the kingdom, man. You see? Because what Amos the third chapter say, uh, uh, he revealed his secrets unto his servants to prophets, man. So these mysteries of the downfall and destruction of Babylon are great, okay? The, who, who's going to rule next? Uh, Jacob is the beginning of it that followed Esau as the end of the world. The Most High is the judge, fear him. Then shall be known who am I chosen, man, in these last days, man. You know what I mean? To know who the so-called white man Esau Edom is, man. That's the, t hey, the, uh, 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 the mystery of iniquity. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Because that is a blessing. To actually go through the scriptures and know and understand what the scriptures are speaking about, okay, and what time we're living in. That's First Thessalonians 5. Yep, which I'm here. That's the spirit. I'll just read it while I'm here. Uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Right? Because what? He that have an ear, let him hear. Blessed is uh, he, he's, uh, it's his ear that heareth and his eye that see. Why? Because we actually hear. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the man that he set up on the, on the, on the planet Earth, starting with our elders and apostles, great millstone, the wise counsel and the multitude of counselors there is safety. And our, our eyes, for we see, we actually see the prophecies taking place. All right? The vision that was set for an appointed time at the end it shall speak and not lie is speaking. Two thirds is getting waxing, waxing worse. Okay? Uh -oh, the downfall and destruction of America, the economy getting ready to collapse, the thermonuclear missiles is here, the ICBMs, which is our, which is one of the uh, hosts of uh, the Heavenly Father, who's the Lord of hosts. Yahweh Shai's return is so clear. How we know? Movies, games, movies, all these things, signs in the heavens. 
everything is showing that Yahweh Shah is getting ready to return, man. So we are not ignorant, okay? Uh, it says, um, so yeah, that was it on that. So now let's go back to 2 Thessalonians, right? Because this is what I want. 2 Thessalonians, through the Spirit of Father Yahweh Shah, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. I'm going to start verse 7. So. Yep. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. And this is speaking of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. So we're blessed to understand who the mystery of iniquity is, man. We understand the, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven on the right-hand side, which is uh, 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 the, the kingdom of heaven is within you, the tabernacle of David, which is fallen, being uh, raised up. And we understand the mystery of iniquity on the left-hand side, man. It says, only he who now letteth will let, which is the most high, until he be taken out of the way. Because he's prophesied, his downfall and destruction is prophesied all through the scriptures, which we can actually get real quick, all right? Because this is a blessing to know this. Just going through the spirit. The spirit got me going here, man. This is Job chapter, I believe, 20. Oh, man. Con just call all y'all about to say, Job chapter 20, verse 8. I'm going to start verse 7. Yet he shall perish forever. Starting speaking of the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Because what? 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 7 said, until he be taken out of the way. All right. So this is the will of the heavenly father, raising up the tabernacle of David, which have fallen and closing out the breaches thereof and building it as in the days of Noah, or as in the days of Noah, Slaki, as in the days of old, <laughs> as in the days of Noah, they were eating, drinking, marrying. They ain't understand the times they living in, but at some point, Going back to Job 20 and verse 7. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. So just like he take his shit and flush it, that's how the so-called Amen Esau even get ready to perish, man. So be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High is your God and the God of all them that keep his commandments. It says, and they which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right? So two-thirds are going to be like, damn, where, where, my, where my salvation at? Nigga, you ain't got none because you took the tip, bro. You threw. Revelations 14 and 9, you threw. Done. And even us, we're going to be like, man, where's the so-called white man at when we get in the kingdom, man, you know? It's going to be so long, you know, you know, get through, bro. Esau is done, bro. Wasted away. Okay? We ain't got nothing to be afraid of, man. Who are thee that thou shalt be afraid of man? Who shall perish? All right? Verse um, 8. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Okay? So Esau Edom is just being here in Babylon a great, that's why it's called an American dream. It's an American scheme. You thought you was gonna come out here and be somebody and be something and make it out? And why you think a lot of these Jakes, they make it, but they don't make you don't put you on because it was never made for you Jakes to make it here, bro. This is your captivity. The so-called white man Esau Edom is the sword of the Lord. That's in the book of Psalms, the 17th chapter, over you to put your ass in check. All right? Because you went off. And until you acknowledge your offenses, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, will heal our land and bring us back out of our captivity. But only the elect will acknowledge their offenses. And two-thirds is going to what? Be wicked and uh, filthy and, and let him be filthy still. That's in Revelations, the 22nd chapter, man. 2 Thessalonians, I'm sorry, uh, Job 20, verse 9. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more be behold him. So the so-called, I mean, Esau, Edom, all right, it's out of there, bro. Okay, 118, all right? Like the brother uh, Austin the Kemp always say, uh, um, the forbidden scroll, all right? There's nobody want to read. Nobody never knew existed. Like Elder Pastor Ramlop said, never heard. I never heard of Obadiah. What you mean? I thought you believed in the Bible, my man. I thought you searched the volume of the book. You see? You didn't. You threw, Esau. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, which is this time. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of the Lord's mouth, which is why we're blessed, all right, is the prophets, man. That's the mouthpiece of the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get a quick precept to actually prove that we are the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. Let's get this real quick, a, a real quick dagger. Let's get a real quick dagger right to the point. St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 1, all right. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 70. As he spake, that's the Most High, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right, so that's how the Most High is speaking to you people. The Most High ain't getting off his throne, coming to chop it up with you, bro. The Lord going to 
speak to his prophets and he gonna put the spirit on them to fear him. Malachi the third chapter, the 16th verse, the book of remembrance for, uh, written before him for them that feared him and thought upon his name. We gonna pick the scrolls up and what? Uh, what the book saying, uh, uh, what it's saying, uh, have a cook, uh, uh, that he may run that readeth it. So we ran off with this, man. Why? Because we believe that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai real, man. You see? We know the Lord going to jack this place up, man. All right? So that's how the Most High is speaking to you through the, through the servants, the prophets, man. As he spake since the world began. So going back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. Even who's... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, come. Going back to 8, slot. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. So it's already being consumed. All right? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's your Howard Shine of Chariots. That's in the book of 2 Ezra's 13th chapter, Isaiah the 66th chapter, around the 15th verse, Isaiah the 63rd uh, third chapter. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. All right? Okay, and all throughout the scriptures, man, Revelations 1 and 7, the Lord coming back banging on, banging through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's how the Lord coming back, and that's what we waiting on. Scripture say, uh, blessed are all those that wait for him. So it's a blessing to wait for the Lord. Count that blessing, man. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, man. So, yeah, yeah. So, this man is getting ready to great, greatly lie, all right, on the nation of Israel. And the, the, the accuser of our brethren is being cast down. Let's go ahead and get something real quick. You know, the Spirit had me take off on that. The Lord wanted that to come out. Call hello, y'all, Bashim Yahushai. So, let's go into while we're blessed real quick while I got a little time. This is uh, the book of Psalms, right? Check this out. It's like this. Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So we are already blessed for walking a, a walk of a, pa a, a path of righteousness. To the best of our ability because what we're not we're, we're not in the council of other ungodly man so that's a blessing in itself all right so let's move on to another blessing <laughs> we bless man count these boys you know because what the scripture say the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are not seen are eternal so we are internal uh, eternally blessed if we believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the power of his might that's a blessing in itself and to have Brothers around you that believe too, woo! Double portion. Psalms chapter 32, verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. So that's another blessing because everybody's sins ain't covered out here, man. But that's talking about the elect. They covered. What's that? Psalms 91? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Real quick, just right to the point. You see my books. Gotta get out of here, man. We're on time, 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 man. Nah, man, we are gonna be powers, bro. Uh, Psalms 91. And um. Yep. Yep. Psalms 91. Here it is. Psalms 91 and verse 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, that's the elect setting their affection on Yahweh Bashem outside the things above. Therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, see, being a hey, Revelation 21, beamed up, because he have known my name. So call Allah Yahweh Bashem outside. Name is very important. All right? So it's a blessing to know the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Okay? Because we're going to be covered by Yahweh Bashem outside, man, because we know his name. Psalms 32 and verse 2. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. And in whose spirit there is no gal. So the Lord is, hey, because the scriptures t uh, tell you the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, tried the reins. All right, that's the spirit. I believe that's Jeremiah 20. Damn, boy, call all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is just the spirit. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 23. Am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? So the Most High putting everybody in check. It's not the most high power that is at hand. It's not the most high judging the whole earth right now as we speak. Famines, pestilence, death, destruction. Who you think doing that? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The issues of death belong to the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Who you think doing this, man? Jacking you jakes up. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. Who you think doing that? But we're blessed to understand the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because the world can't receive this, man. 
here it is, we in the time of World War III popping off. Death and destruction get ready to take place in the soils of America. You still got niggas out here kickballing, man. Still worrying about Lil Baby album dropping, man. Still worrying about if, man, LeBron might fold in the series. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you know, you know, we jake, man. You know, damn, what, what's the R5? What's the mark of the beast when the whole time is here right in your face? All right? Ain't no excuses, bro. Jeremiah 23 and 23. Am I a power at hand, said the Lord? And not a power afar off, disappoint. Can any man, can any hide himself in secret places? That I shall not see him, said the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth, said the Lord. So you how about Shemel Shai dialing in on you, man? Do not he feel heaven and earth? But what? In Isaiah the 66 chapter it says, Thus to this man will I look to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. That's what the Lord dealing with, man. Him that is poor and humble, poor and afflicted. You ain't dealing with all you niggas out here who think you got, got the chips. You ain't got the chips, man. You ain't got the answers, Sway. Okay, you got to come to the mouthpiece of the Lord. You got to come to the prophet, starting with our elders and apostles, great millstone. All right? You got to come uh, to, to, you, to the brothers in, his, in the sound doctrine, man. That's who Yahweh Bashem Shai dealing with. He ain't dealing with all you, man. So we blessed to understand that. And the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for the straight gate. You see? Because a, a lot of people ain't real, man. So let's go ahead. I'm running out of time. Slock you. Okay, kind of, kind of. Got one more through the spirit. Let's get this real quick. Kind of, Psalms 41. Rebuke me not in thy wrath. Ooh, woo, man. Like the elders say, it's so much work to be done, man. Psalms 41, verse 1. Blessed. Again, and this is a, a Psalm of David, Psalms 41 and 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. That's what we do, man. Isaiah 61. Okay. The Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is upon us to what? Teach good tidings unto the meek and unto the poor. Alright. It says, the Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. So this charity, matter of fact, this charity which is covering a multitude of our sins, man. This is covering our sins, bro. Going out here doing this work. Okay? Spirit just hit me to grab this precept. I have to. I got to. Saudi. Tobit. I got to. Come on. Tobit. Tobit chapter 4, verse 11. I'm going to start at verse 10. Slot. I'm going to start at verse 9. Tobit chapter 4, verse 9. For thou layest up a treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. All right, verse 10, because thou arms doth deliver from death and suffer not to come into darkness, see? So our arms is delivering us from death, man. You see what I'm saying? So we blessed to be out here understanding that we went off and, to, and correct us and be rebuked and be chastened from Yahweh Bashmi out shot and whatever is a part of, a brought upon us, take cheerfully and go out there and do the work. We blessed, man, to be leaders for the nation of Israel, man. Because somebody got to do this work. So Thawadi Yahabashmi Al Shai for putting the spirit on us, man, to go out here and, and, and prophesy the downfall and destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great, and the restoration of righteousness, man. And Yahweh Shai is coming back swiftly and speedily. Yahweh Mahar. So, Lord willing, this was a quick, edifying lesson to the elect. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash, and Thawadi Yahabashmi Al Shai for putting the spirit on us and giving us the spirit and truth in these last days, which the world cannot receive, and the gift of faith. Double honors to our apostles, Elder Great Millstone. Buck a thumb, peace, love, salutations to the corny while I am so long to the elect.